The lumber company is about to close what it hopes will be the final chapter in its long Bonner Mill history. Envirocon is removing the final toxic PCB chemicals from the ground. And as Brianna Roy reports, Stimson says it's ready to sell the land to someone who can put it back into use. 170 acres of riverfront property with rail access is almost ready for a new buyer. There's just a little more cleaning up to do. In 2006, the Department of Environmental Quality found PCBs and petroleum contamination on the land, the result of decades of a working lumber mill, and called for the landowner, Stimson Lumber Company, to pay for the cleanup. They would like to sell this property at some point, and um, so for them, it's in their best interest to get this done as quickly as possible. All that remains of the cleanup here at Stimson is about 5,000 cubic yards of contaminated soil that will be removed from the old stud mill area behind me. Along with a little more reconstruction of the riverbank, this land will be ready for sale. So it'll only be cleaned up to industrial cleanup levels. Uh, it wouldn't be clean to residential, um, but it's still a good property, a good location for something industrial. The property is listed at $11 million, but a Stimson spokesman says the company will work with the buyer to adjust the price and property depending on what's planned for the land. Whether that means keeping the buildings or clearing them to make room for something else, he says Stimson just wants someone to give the land value and jobs again. In Bonner, Brianna Roy for Montana's news station. Cleanup crews expect to be done in early April. Western Montana snow.